They had tears in their eyes as they described the horrific moments after the. It's a much different scene here tonight, but hours earlier, there were HPD detectives combing all over this complex looking for evidence. They were brought here by those neighbors who called 911 after a child went running to the bus stop saying something unthinkable. Around 8 this morning, HPD says a woman was shot at this complex. Shortly after, neighbors say they saw one of her kids who missed the bus. The child, they say, told them someone shot his mom. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking to see someone like that. So it's, I just would rather not talk about that part, please. It's a real heartbreaking situation because they lost their mother. Not just those two, but her older two children. They, they lost their mother. They no longer have a mother. In the morning hours of October 2nd, the Houston Police Department responded to a disturbing call at the Willow Green Apartments near 249 and FM 1960 in regards to a person shot. Upon arrival, the authorities were met with a terrifying scene where a woman was found shot multiple times inside her home. So a woman was fatally shot by a known male. I don't know if it's the ex-boyfriend. I mean, we got people saying that it's like a, it was a relationship situation, but uh, something along those lines. She was shot by this male around 8 a.m. 911 was called. A neighbors, the neighbors came to help, and one of the neighbors was trying to, you know, keep her alert and 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 alive, you know. And and EMS arrived, HPD arrived. Unfortunately, the the lady passed away. The suspect fled the scene. And the saddest part of all of this, friends, aside from the from what happened to the lady, is that this happened in the presence of, of her children. Her children were here. She's got two that were at school, and she had two small children with her uh, that were here at the apartment. The victim was identified as 32-year-old Jacqueline Wilson, and sadly, she passed away on the scene after being shot nine times. Jacqueline Wilson, who affectionately went by Jackie, was a mother of four who worked as a CNA. She was described by loved ones as a woman full of joy, always in a good spirit, and will give you the shirt off her back. She had a very close connection with her patients in her field of work and was always said to go above and beyond her call of duty. Jackie's bright smile with her big dimples were sure to lift anyone up on a down day, and her radiant presence touched all those who knew her. As a single mother, Jackie embodied unconditional love, dedicating her days to nurturing her children with love and unshakable strength. Her boisterous laughter filled rooms and her warmth was a beacon to family and friends alike. There was never a truly dull moment when she was around and she believed in making the best out of any situation. So when her life was stolen one fall day in October 2024, no one wanted to believe that she was no longer here. Her co-workers would do a tribute to her outside of her job, and loved ones took to social media to express their hurt and sorrow for a life that was taken too soon. What took place in our home and who did it was the big question on everyone's mind in the community. Well, it turns out there was a neighbor who saw and overheard Jackie's interaction with a man just days before the shooting. The neighbor said that she heard Jackie's boyfriend saying some terrifying things to the mother of four. She went on to say the only one time she heard him was within that last week and he said okay be word I'm going to unalive you the Monday before the crime took place the same neighbor saw Jackie throwing the boyfriend 39 year old Howard Ruffin stuff out of the apartment then one day before the shooting she said she saw Howard sitting in the dark in the parking lot in the SUV when he looked up and saw the neighbor looking at him after she was passing by she would rush away but did explain that she had a feeling that something was not good also, prior to the information that the neighbor gave, Jackie had been keeping a video diary. Around the end of September 2024, she did a TikTok showing her getting her car fixed after he allegedly busted out the windows and took the bumper off the car. Someone even warned her and said, you better avoid his butt, and she said, that's my sentiment exactly. Apparently, things were reaching a breaking point for Jackie because she also put out a video of not just her car, but her TV, her camera on the outside of her home, and other things being destroyed. She commented under the video that he never pays to replace anything, but just sends apology texts and says he was hurt. All these incidents were definitely red flags for the worst to come. When you take a look at Howard Ruffins, he appears to be a very vain and conceited person. 
He often loved to show off his clothes, money, and cars. Many knew him around town as Hollywood, and his life seemed to be all glitter and gold. Some called him narcissistic, but said that he was a cool person at the same time if he stayed out his way. However, despite him proclaiming to be rich and making it all seem like he had it together, that was far from the truth. He was no stranger to the law, and police knew that Howard had previously been accused of harming Jackie. Two years ago, he was charged with harming his girlfriend by impeding the normal breathing by applying pressure to her neck. When officers came in contact with Jackie on October 15, 2022, she reportedly had bruises all over her body. She told police Howard struck her multiple times in the face with his fist while he was driving. She tried to fight back, and that is when Howard started to choke her. Jackie then jumped out of the vehicle while it was moving to avoid being harmed any further. She would flag down a passing motorist and request emergency help. Jackie was then taken to a hospital but declined medical attention and said she did not wish to participate in the police investigation. Police gave her a ride home and during that time she again stated she did not want help but that she was in trouble. She sadly was crying out for help but had to be scared of what he would do. The officer reported that he did not know what she meant but believed her life to be in danger and he requested an order of emergency protection which apparently was never granted. Howard also had another charge of harming a family member that he served three days in jail behind in Walker County. So he was definitely a repeat offender, but would always end up back on the streets. So on the morning of October 2nd, there was no surprise to find out that Howard was the alleged suspect that was seen fleeing the scene after the shooting. The door was said to be unlocked that morning and Jackie's kids were all preparing for school. The two oldest who were not in elementary had already set off to school. The time was around 8 a.m. and the younger two were preparing to do the same thing when Howard allegedly walked in the home and shot Jackie nine times in front of the kids. After Howard was seen on the neighbor's camera leaving so casually, the kids ran to find help. This is when two women were flagged down and they told the kids, you all missed the bus. This is when one of the young boys said, I know, but he shot my mom. The women would immediately spring into action and go to the apartment where Jackie lived, where they found her gasping for air. As they tried to keep her fighting and stay awake, she sadly passed away on the scene. By this time, authorities were on their way, but it was too late and Howard had fled the apartment. Houston police investigation led them straight to Howard and hours after the shooting, he turned himself in to speak with detectives. He also complied and provided a statement to detectives and was arrested and charged. He is currently being held at the Harris County Jail and prosecutors are asking the judge to deny bail. When she saw the police tape, her worst fears came true. We told you about the brutal last night. The victim was in front of her own kids at their home on the northwest side. And the suspect has since turned himself in. Howard Ruffin will soon face a judge for this charge. He was actually supposed to appear in court today for a separate family charge involving the same victim. He didn't appear. However, this is a pattern of family that neighbors say they saw and worried would escalate. What happened inside this Northwest Houston apartment has left neighbors in shock. It's just like painful, I guess. Like my heart hurts. That's what it, I could say that my heart hurts about it. On Wednesday morning, a doorbell camera shows a man enter an apartment. Seconds later, you hear shouting and nine gunshots. Witnesses told ABC 13 the victim's two children were inside. They weren't hurt. Her two other children were in school. Court documents reveal the victim was Jacqueline Wilson. Neighbors say the two were in a relationship. Earlier this week, they say Wilson tossed Ruffin's stuff out. Documents reveal Ruffin's faced multiple family charges. Three years ago, Ruffin was convicted in Walker County for a family member. Two years ago, he was charged in Harris County for hitting and strangling. Prosecutors asked for a protective order, but she never got it. It's because despite the warrant, he wasn't arrested in Harris County. We've learned Ruffin was arrested in Western Texas. It's unclear why. However, in Maverick County, officials granted him a bond for the Harris County charge. Officials here say they didn't learn about the bond for 16 months and only discovered it days ago. Now, prosecutors are asking a judge to deny bail for the charge. But if he's in custody, he needs to stay there. Do not give him bail. And I wish and pray that he does not. This is another tragic case of DV taking the life of a mother too soon and the heartbreak of the children having to witness it. It is not okay and should not be normalized. Jackie's love and spirit will remain forever etched in the heart of those she loved. And though her time here was brief, 
She left behind a mark on the world through her kindness and generosity. Her legacy will live on through her children and the love she instilled in her children, plus the countless lives she touched. Not only are four children without a mother, but Jackie's one and only daughter lost her father less than two years ago, and then Howard was a father too. So sadly, there are many kids affected by this unconceived tragedy. My thoughts and prayers are with all involved, and I pray for full justice to be served. Please don't forget to comment your thoughts and prayers too as well for this family in this difficult time, and hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.